see you this morning. Just in prayer that good night for us. And that God has woken us up this year another day. And that we can yes. rejoice in his salvation. Give thanks. Just in prayer that today that God will empower us to live for him in a way that we have never lived before. And that his spirit will guide us as we go along this morning. If we go, let's bow our heads as we invite God to beat us. Loving Lord, we thank you for the night rest. We thank you for this privilege of worship. This privilege to celebrate your goodness. And as we go into our meditation for today, may the Holy Spirit go before us to guide us, to lead us, to encourage us, and to empower us to walk in your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Today we have the privilege of doing that prayer, the difference is prayer. The story is told of five college ministerial students who went to visit London. Thrilled at the opportunity of hearing some well-known preachers before the ordination into ministry. The hot summer heat beat down on them as they waited for the doors to be opened to Spurgeon's Tabernacle. The church of one of the best known preachers of that era. A stranger approached them and said, while you're waiting, would you like to see the heating apparatus of the church? Seeing the heating apparatus on a boiling day in July was the last thing they had in mind, but they consented. They were let down some steps to a basement door. The guide pushed the door open. There is a heaping apparatus, he whispered in hushed tones. The young men or the young interns saw before them 700 people bow in prayer, asking for God's blessing on the service soon to be held in the tabernacle upstairs. The unknown guide turned out to be Spurgeon himself. Spurgeon's ministry was powerful because of prayer. In our lives and in our church, we have choices. Why use a pencil if you have access to a computer? Why walk if you can fly? Why stumble along without power when the potential is so great? As Spurgeon knew, whenever God wants to do great work, he first set the people to pray. So this morning, the difference is prayer. And one of my one of the favorite quote, a normally quote from Max Ladu, he quoted the saying, "When we work, we work, but when we pray, God works." And this morning, I want to show us that God wants to empower us because prayer makes a difference in our lives and in our ministry. The prayer, the biblical perspective on prayer. You see God's will in your prayer. And in doing so, you find your part marvelously fulfilled, your purpose achieved, and your desires responded to. God's answer is never forced response. It's purely a gift of grace. God takes into account every prayer ever offered and is forever involved with us in charting the course of history. Here is the hope of our prayer, that the kingdom of the enemy will fall and all his falls will be exposed as the kingdom of God is established, pressing back the forces of darkness. The more you pray, the more your horizon expands and the more you come to expect from a supernatural miracle working God. If you're short circuit prayer, you give your life a ministry, a similar humanistic framework within your work. For you are neglecting the place and time of direction and prayer. And so today, church, I want to emphasize the fact that prayer makes a difference in our lives. As we see in this story that these ministerial intern looking to see what was Spurgeon's greatest achievement or why 
uh, what was the result of his achievement. And they were led to see 700 members praying in the basement, praying for the service that we start about. Now you may marvel at the fact that 700 folks are praying. And sometimes you wonder why is it we don't have 10 members praying. But here's a church with 700 people praying. And as he said to them, let's come and see the heating apparatus. And they were like apprehensive of, okay, the place is hot already. How much more heat can we take? But when it comes to pray, it doesn't matter how hot it is. When you pray on a hot day, it doesn't burn you up per se. It burns out the dust and it empowers you, give you a light that was not there before. So if your face was shiny bright, it shines even more brighter. And so the church, we have to recognize that our power in this world today is prayer. And we cannot do nothing without prayer. We have to recognize that prayer is a key that unlocks heaven's storehouse. And God is willing to bless all of us if we will humble ourselves and allow him to lead and direct us in the, in the, in the path that we choose to go. And so today, I want to encourage us this morning that prayer makes a difference. I believe that I'm praying more these days and I need to ask God this morning in my prayer before we started that I need to be more empowered, I need to be more enlightened so that when I live, when I walk, when I talk, everything I do will be in harmony with his will and his way. And so today, as we go to the day, as we face today, face the noon, let us face it with confidence knowing that God will be with us and that as we pray and as we devote ourselves to prayer that God will help us and let us not take for granted that each morning we get up that our prayers just flying God is working so each time you make the sacrifice to get up from your sleep to meet on Tuesdays and Thursday morning and whenever it's time God is the one who's waking us up and he knows sometimes we're tired but he still said, my child, I'm going to let you sleep, but I'm going to wake you up in time. And I couldn't testify to that because over the last few months, I mean, some nights you go to sleep, literally drain, and the thing that you're going to sleep past the hour, but then God has a way of waking you up sometimes two hours after you start to sleep or wake you up just in time. Sometimes he wakes you up at three o'clock, sometimes he wakes you up at four o'clock, and some penny temptation to go back to sleep, but you recognize that the difference is prayer. So instead of going back to sleep, you, you wake up and you say, Lord, let me spend this time talking with you because you wake me up to do something and let me give you the first time of my day. And I believe when we give God the first time of our day, we say, God, the difference is prayer. So I'm going to make sure that I give you that time so that you can empower me, you can enlighten me and you can guide me as i go to the day as we as we repeat the prayer let us remember as we pray that the difference is prayer and that god is going to answer us and that we must pray that his will be done not ours but his will be done and that when his will is done then we know that all be well with us